I am going to show you how I made my shredded and pureed pumpkin bread. The difference is the taste. The pureed is more a pumpkin flavor while the shredded is more of a bite and a light color. You won't taste so much of a pumpkin taste in the shredded like you would taste in a pureed. going to do the shredded pumpkin bread first so let's get into the ingredients we have our pumpkin and all our grains some sugar and some yeast and I also had some salt I'm going to mix everything in together but I want to show you how shredded this is I use a grater and the big side of the grater and just shred the pumpkin I'm mixing the sugar and the yeast together and then all the other ingredients I'm going to let everything incorporate properly I'm giving you a closer look as to what the shredded pumpkin looks like and I am doing it this way so this pumpkin bread won't have that great pumpkiny pumpkiny taste but you will still get that pumpkin bite so after bringing the flour together I'm going to let it rest for 20 minutes, but at 10 minutes intervals, I am going to knead it in on itself. Well, not knead it, but fold it in onto itself. We don't want to knead the flour too much. So this is the other 10 minutes after, and I'm going to knead it in on itself again, as I said. You see what I'm doing? I'm not like literally kneading, but more or less folding the flour because we don't want to overwork the flour. And once that is rested, we're going to put it in our bread pan and let that double in size. And we're going to bake at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. So while my bread will be re resting in my bread pan, I am going to let the oven preheat the last 10 minutes of it resting in my bread pan. I let it rest in the bread pan for 20 minutes also. So um, this is before I place it into the bread pan. So I'm going to put it on a lightly floured surface. Click the bell for new. So now we're going to go into the pureed version. I am going to place it into my fruit processor and I'm going to puree this as finely as possible. If not, you can use like a blender. So it's the same ingredients, but this time we're just using the pureed pumpkin. And I use the fruit processor because I wanted some form of pieces of pumpkin but yet I wanted it smoother than the grated version right so this is all that I'm going to use the the egg and my pre-buttered pan so this is me putting in the grated version or the shredded version of the pumpkin together firstly and I'm gonna cut the end it's just, just basically a pattern really that's basically what it is but you could just roll it normally like you would roll your normal bread before you put it in your bread pan and this is just for decoration purposes and once folded i am going to place in my bread pan as i mentioned earlier i'm going to let this rest for 20 minutes before placing it into my oven and a few minutes before i place it into the oven I am going to let that oven preheat this is the shredded version and the bread is ready for the oven and we're going to put it into the oven 
20 minutes later this is what the bread looks like and I am placing some butter now this is why I don't put too much of butter and stuff in the kneaded part of my bread because I know at the end of it I want to put a lot of butter on my bread all right that's why I don't add butter or oil kneading but I will knead the flour soft because I want my bread to be soft I'm adding that extra butter all over this bread once it's finished. Oh my gosh, it is amazing. The, the, the softness and the butteriness of the bread is really amazing. And this is what it looks like when it's done. This is the shredded version. You can see that it is not as yellow. So this here is the pureed version. The color of the dough is also much more yellowish orangish and this is it when it was finished baking you can totally see a difference in the color in the bread and it was really flavorful and the pumpkin flavor was really outstanding in this bread as i said it's the same measurements same ingredients all we did was just puree the pumpkin instead of shredding the pumpkin therefore you will have that intense pumpkin flavor in pureed version than in the shredded version. Thanks for watching.